here's the main page of SAP. We're going to be using today IW44 as a transaction code. This is going to be for adding any time over onto any orders within SAP. Up here at the top, you can have all your defaults. This is going to be columns going to be placed down all the way down your spreadsheet. These orders are first of all going to be working best when you only have single operations for each order. Your operation is going to be 0010, that's your first operation. Default time is going to be H for hour. And then FC and N is completing the order saying that there is no work done, that is final confirmation. This is my gun. Now the best way to use IW44 is to have all your orders organized by the personnel who first handed them in. You're going to give a default time. PMs, Tom Simmons, all he did was half hour each PM that he moves on. So I can say that he just did 0.5 hours. His personnel number. And hit enter. And that first row is the default columns, and when I hit enter, it's going to auto fill the rest of the lines below that. Next, I'm going to use the orders that he actually completed. And this is where the scanner really comes in useful. At the top of each of the PM, I have a barcode for the order number. I can put that right underneath the scanner. Yeah, auto click fleets right into SAP. Now I'm ready for the next line. The fast way to do it is to be able to just hear it and click it. And there's Tom's work for the last day. Now, what's nice is that about this, when I've created out a PM01, which is a work order I've created myself, planned work, handed out, I know that it comes up as a three rather than a four for the order. I also know that when he completed this order, he actually did it in 0.75 hours, which is three quarters of an hour, so I can punch those in as well. Change any of the lines after you put it in your defaults, it won't hurt at all. Once when I know I've got all the work put in that he completed, all set up. That's IW44.